and welcome to another video I haven't uh, been writing uh, lately I've been uh, busy uh, the weather has un hasn't been uh, great so again this, this is the Lonesha Dunsha Dina the dunes here I'm riding uh, with Yuri again I have uh, too many wheels at home so I'm uh, selling uh, the Sherman NS22 in the near future and already uh, a lot of new wheels have been announced uh, one uh, is uh, uh, especially uh, more known uh, the Commander uh, GT uh, Zen Li ha has it on his channel uh, on, on uh, multiple videos it looks like a very interesting wheel I think it's more a wheel for on the track, on the race track. It looks uh, like a competitor uh, to the master, the goat master. Uh, with uh, the new tuning, uh, I see it uh, being uh, a lot faster and uh, more acceleration and torque than the master. The master is all, uh, already old, of course. With the goat. Uh, the wheel uh, gets replaced uh, uh, very, very soon, either on the DB Goat name or on the, uh, the Extreme Bull name. And uh, Veteran has uh, quietly announced uh, a new wheel. It's the, the Veteran Lynx. Uh, it looks like uh, the bigger but younger brother of the Patton. With uh, what I've, I've seen uh, with the 50 volt wheel, uh, 20 inch tire, uh, 2700 uh, uh, watt hours battery. Looks like a very capable wheel, but uh, uh, the price is uh, too much. Over 4,000 euros or or dollars. It's it's too much uh, money for one wheel the most I've spent on wheels on, uh, is, uh, on my EX30 and that was uh, second head with uh, upgrades 3000 uh, euros which is already a lot of money but uh, it would be very interesting uh, to see these new wheels I think also the veteran links is uh, made for the for the race track. That le looks uh, very compact, but with the 20-inch tire, it's uh, uh, very stable on high speeds. And uh, with 150 volt, it can, uh, can uh, accelerate a lot faster. I don't think it needs the top speed. Uh, top speed. Uh, what I've seen on. Uh, Apple Valley is uh, lots of turns, so you cannot go at the top speed. Uh, so uh, acceleration and uh, better uh, tur uh, turning uh, is uh, more important. But uh, it's a very interesting wheel, the veteran uh, links. Uh, also, the V14 uh, Adventure isn't out yet from Emotion. But uh, apparently uh, already an upgrade uh, will be sold with uh, the, the better uh, Samsung batteries, 50S I think. Uh, it, this is uh, very soon for an, uh, for an upgrade. So I don't know uh, what uh, marketing uh, is going on here, but it's very confusing. Still like uh, how the V14 uh, looks in, in the videos. It looks uh, uh, like it has lots of torque. Apparently, uh, the, the cutoff angle can be set to 60 degrees, but I think uh, 65 or 70 uh, should be the, the max. Uh, with, uh, with almost uh, all the other wheels, uh, you can go to 70, even uh, the veteran wheels. So for uh, off-road riding, I think uh, it's a must to uh, 
set uh, the cutoff angle uh, a lot higher than uh, 60. And uh, Bigot is uh, also releasing another M10, the M10 Mini. I don't know why it's called M10 Mini, uh, not M10 5. But I would rather uh, they, uh, uh, they released uh, the same uh, form factor as the M10 3. I still have the M10 3, but uh, I wish the, it would be uh, a little bit stronger the motor. Uh, the M10 4 is definitely stronger. And, but I don't know. Uh, I don't, know, don't like the form factor. It's uh, very square. It's not easy to put in a in a in a backpack or take it with you. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't like it very much. And M10 Mini is. Uh, yeah, is it? It's the same with different uh, headlight, uh, different color. It's it's mostly the same design as the M10 4. So these these are already a lot of wheels uh, which has been announced. Uh, Kingston of course had have uh, yet to release the S19 and S16. I don't know if they are going with. Uh, Oh, the X16 uh, gets an upgrade also. Uh, it seems to uh, they want to uh, compete with uh, the current 16-inch uh, wheels, like uh, the first one is the Veteran Pattern, the Commander uh, Mini, and uh, we go to Extreme. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, if it can compete uh, the S16 with uh, the stronger motor, I think not. Uh, it looks like uh, it can go uh, up a steep hill, but of, but uh, most of these uh, Chinese guys are very light, so that's not a true uh, test uh, for its uh, torque. Only uh, the heavier guys can tell you from uh, if uh, if a wheel uh, actually has uh, lots of torque. Because even the S22, uh, I've seen videos climbing uh, a steep hill, but the S22 uh, does not have uh, a lot of torque. It has a, a little bit more uh, acceleration torque than the the, the old Bigot uh, high-speed wheels, but it, uh, it's lacking compared to, uh, to the high-torque wheels uh, from Bigot, especially now with the current wheels like uh, the Pattern. Uh, Commander Mini, uh, Commander uh, Mini S, and uh, we go to Extreme. Uh, they all have uh, higher top speed and uh, lots of torque, crazy torque. So um, I am I am considering buying a new wheel, but only when I've sold uh, the the Sherman, the old Sherman, and. Uh, S22 and uh, well this win uh, season winter with lots of rain uh, I won't be riding that much I don't mind the cold but the the I don't like the rain so uh, this season uh, I won't be riding much I will be enjoying my other hobbies For now, uh, let's enjoy this uh, ride. This is again uh, uh, the Lone Strunse Dyna, and uh, I'm uh, holding uh, the camera in my hand in, instead of uh, mounted on my chest to get a bit more dynamic uh, view uh, angles. has rained so uh, the, the sand isn't uh, that loose. It's a very fun ride, can go uh, very fast.
getting curious uh, how the other wheels uh, will fare on this uh, r track. And this uh, track doesn't have, have a lot of jumps, so uh, the suspension uh, on the pattern uh, is uh, sufficient enough for this. seems uh, a lot more people are riding uh, off-road, off it's uh, more challenging, uh, it's very fun even at, uh, at lower speeds. Right now uh, our friend group uh, or have almost all the powerful 16 inch wheel, of course the veteran pattern, uh, Tim has the Bigot Extreme and uh, Robin has the, the Commander Mini. I, I haven't uh, been riding with them uh, lately, uh, I've been uh, busy, it's also a uh, not close by for me to uh, uh, for a quick ride but uh, I'm always hesitant to uh, ride other wheels because uh, the pad, set pad setup setup of the wheel is always uh, uh, not to my taste or my riding style so it will never be a, a good comparison for me I want to ride a wheel, I want uh, the proper pads, setup, everything. Even with my uh, EX30, uh, the first ride, uh, I bought it from a guy and we. Uh, uh, we uh, made a, a quick tour and I tried his uh, his then uh, EX30 and the, the setup was totally wrong yeah, I didn't feel the wheel uh, it wasn't set up properly uh, because he was a uh, new rider he didn't know what he was doing how to set it up so uh, it wasn't very enjoyable the first time I was riding EX30 and that's why I am. Uh, I don't want to ride other people's wheels because I know I won't like it. Even with the Abrams, I knew it when I see it. Uh, standard riding isn't isn't for me on the Abrams. The only uh, choice is uh, to ride it seated, and it's uh, very beautiful. So with the EUC. Uh, don't go for the first impression you need it to ride it uh, a bit longer with the proper setup the way you like it you want a stiff, stiff suspension or soft suspension how do you want to uh, want to set up the pads you want to uh, very locked in or a little bit open You ride freely with the uh, knees a bit uh, outwards. Yeah, there's a very uh, a lot of ways uh, to ride an EUC. best uh, to buy a wheel and see if I like it or not often I know uh, the, the limitation of the wheel already 
with the Sherman. I know uh, I knew uh, it didn't have uh, lots of torque. It wasn't an off-road wheel. I could go uh, uh, go on a flat off-road, very flat road, but only that. But it couldn't climb hills. Uh, it, wa it was pure uh, a road wheel, the Sherman. But I liked it because it was uh, very compact. It had lots of batteries, enough speed. Uh, so f I thought it it was that it was my end game wheel. Well, it's not. I'm uh, I'm selling it. Uh, it has been replaced with the EX30. It's also very compact, but a lot heavier. But it has uh, a higher top speed, so a lot more buffer and a bit more range. Not that much. Now with the Sherman, uh, it has it has no suspension, so uh, riding a, a, a long roads. Uh, uh, is uh, isn't very comfortable uh, with Sherman uh, the first five minutes with the uh, wrong shoes uh, my feet hurt only uh, with the right setup so the right shoes uh, the, the right insoles or inserts I could ride uh, I think uh, on a flat road uh, 30 minutes without pain off-road uh, I think only 10 minutes or 15 minutes then uh, the the pain really kicks in with the Sherman so uh, I knew, uh, I knew uh, ver very soon it's, it, it, it wasn't my end game wheel it's, uh, it's, uh, it is a very capable wheel a very popular still The Sherman wasn't my first uh, performance wheel. That was the M M MSP uh, high speed, a very fast wheel. But of course, it lacked a little bit of range, especially if you go uh, uh, 50 or 60 kilometers an hour. It will drain the battery a lot. Also with the, the smaller 18 inch street tire. It wasn't very stable at uh, higher speeds. So it's, uh, it isn't very uh, pleasant uh, to ride at speed because, uh, because it's uh, very, uh, very small and very nimble. And uh, the Sherman is just is very stable at high speeds. Its center of gravity is very low. I could definitely uh, feel uh, that uh, the pedals was lower than on the MSP on the Sherman. MSP I bought it because I didn't want to wait on my Sherman. I ordered the Sherman but uh, it was delayed, delayed, delayed and then I, s I, uh, I was sick of it. I think uh, I'm buying at the local store the MSP and a few weeks weeks later uh, the Sherman arrived so I had two wheels and of course the uh, MSP then uh, didn't, I didn't rode it a lot anymore I only rode the Sherman and uh, the Sherman has been uh, my main wheel for a very, very long time and now I've got uh, six wheels the M103 is a very fun wheel, uh, a very good wheel too for technical things like uh, backwards riding, pedaling, uh, uh, for turning. A lot of people who learned on a bigger wheel uh, don't know how to take a sharp corner. I don't mean uh, full speed uh, taking a sharp corner, but uh, just a just a casual speed. So a lot of people need to take a long turn. 
which uh, makes me think uh, they uh, have never learned on a smaller wheel, especially as small as the M103. And the 3 uh, really makes you a better rider. And uh, it's a shame uh, not that a lot of people learn on a smaller wheel. They want to go to a bigger wheel. Of course, a bigger wheel is a lot more stable. It's also a lot more heavier. So uh, if, you, if you want to be a better rider, I would highly recommend uh, uh, learning on a smaller wheel. So after the, the Sherman, I bought the, the X-Men, high torque. I never had a torque wheel, I only had uh, two high speed wheels. And uh, the X-Men, high, high torque uh, from uh, Extreme Ball. It's a very fun wheel, but the pedals are very low, as low as the Sherman. So uh, uh, besides the pedal clip I get uh, pedal surfing, surfing on uh, tree roots or on rocks. So it, it was uh, riding, it has lots of torque but uh, riding the X-Men uh, through the trails, uh, mountain bike trails, a single track, didn't, didn't uh, make me feel very confident, the pedals were very low. It has lots of acceleration and lots of torque, but uh, I was very cautious, like on the Sherman, I was very cautious riding through the woods. I still uh, really like uh, the, the X-Men, at lower speed it's very smooth. The uh, high torque uh, motor is very smooth at low speeds, a very strong, it's very fun, uh, I've been uh, Riding the, the X-Men uh, at the demonstration ride in uh, Breda and uh, on the road it's, it's very fun. You don't need to go fast to, uh, to have fun it, uh, with the X-Men. It's, it's very small, very compact, it's he still it's heavier than the MSP of course, it has a, a frame. But it's very uh, sturdy, it's very compact and it's a very great wheel to have with you as a second wheel because it's so it's, it's it's for a performance wheel it's very small and it's not that heavy. All my wheels that I have now except for the MT3 are heavy. The S22 is a heavy wheel, the Patton is a very heavy wheel, the Sherman is a heavy wheel, the Abrams is a heavy wheel and the X30 is a heavy wheel. They're, they're all heavy wheels. So sometimes I'm longing for a smaller wheel lighter a wheel but that's only uh, f for uh, for the short rides uh, the M103 is a little bit too small for a small rides I've done it a 10 kilometer ride with uh, the M103 but it's uh, I am not going fast I'm going um, bicycle speed Casual uh, riding on the bicycle. So maybe uh, my next be wheel will be a, a, a smaller and lighter wheel. I still, uh, sometimes I'm considering uh, the Kingsong 16X. Looks like a light. But uh, a very capable uh, wheel. Uh, the uh, Bicode A2 looks like a fun wheel, but it, uh, it has no built in trolley. But it is very uh, capable for its size. But I have to. Uh, too many wheels, so I'm not buying a smaller wheel. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm saving the money for uh, for uh, for no another off-road wheel. Uh, the V14 uh, uh, sure looks like fun. I, s I, I like the, the design very much.
And uh, yeah, the Bigode Extreme uh, looks also uh, like a very fun wheel. It has its, its problems, but uh, to uh, one friend already has the Bigode Extreme and another friend has ordered it. So uh, there will always be uh, a chance for me to, uh, to try it. And uh, yeah, I think uh, 20, 2024 will the, be the year of the smaller wheels. A lot of smaller wheels. Uh, the big wheels has uh, the big wheels have uh, been released. The V13, Master X, and Master Pro. EX30, the Extreme Ball uh, Pro, uh, Commander Pro, uh, and maybe the Extreme Ball Commander Pro Max. But uh, the Commander uh, Extreme Ball uh, Commander Pro Max can only be ordered uh, at the, through the the manufacturer. So no, not uh, through a distribu distributor. So that's uh, why we don't see any videos of the uh, Commander Pro Max. It's a direct competitor to the Master Pro. For uh, cruising, uh, looked also looked like so like like uh, looks like a very fun wheel. But uh, yeah, th these big wheels are very expensive. And the prices are already ridiculous. So I'm not uh, that uh, hyped anymore for wheels uh, above uh, a certain price point. A little bit above uh, 3,000, okay, because the price could uh, low uh, could get lower after a half year uh, to. Uh, under uh, to uh, under uh, three thousand uh, euros, but the four thousand or four thousand five hundred, uh, those are uh, ridiculous prices. That's more than a ma month uh, month salary, or for some people two months of salary. Yeah, the this track is very fun. I try uh, to uh, get my friends to go to here, but of course for her, uh, for them, uh, it's this is not very close. It's uh, 90 minutes ri ride, but uh, uh, I there isn't a track. I I haven't seen a track on the videos. Of them, uh, of any track from from a friends, or from me, uh, where you can go uh, at at speed. This this track is, uh, you can go at speed. It's f it's very fun. If you want to fly through the forest, this is the track to go. This is very fun for a quick ride, one hour uh, fifty minutes in one go. I think. Uh, Performance-wise, uh, you see, have peaked. I think we don't need uh, to have more speed or more torque. I wanted uh, torque, and uh, the development pattern was the first 
uh, ESC which has a crazy torque not because uh, of the smaller tire but because of the tuning uh, yeah, that's some um, magic veteran is doing and uh, Bigo is trying to copy, copy it with uh, the new firmware apparently uh, on the commander mini uh, when, when set to uh, sport mode I think sport or race mode uh, the wheel the motherboard or the motor will sound uh, very similar to the, the pattern with a lot of buzzing noise like uh, the electronics is trying to revving up so you know veteran is a veteran is doing something uh, right I still wish uh, they would uh, release uh, the Abram S Abrams with suspension so there's the same tuning but with suspension or uh, a bigger a 22 inch pattern that would be awesome that would be a spiritual uh, successor to the Abrams that would be awesome uh, 22 inch uh, pattern but I, w I would rather they call it the Abram Abram Abrams S But uh, of course marketing wise it's uh, it's better to call it uh, Sherman or Patton didn't film the whole ride but it's still uh, the, the video is still 45 minutes long so I've uh, recorded a lot more than I thought this is actually uh, the third time in a row I've been to this uh, track yeah, it's just that fun On this ride, uh, 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 Yuri knows this track w uh, very well, so he, he knows uh, the more fun uh, routes because uh, there are multiple ways you can go. And apparently, I've missed one, but that one is also very technical, and there's a very big chance of a pedal clip. curious what emotion will come uh, with what will uh, they will come next uh, they have uh, released the challenger and the challenger is also a proof of concept uh, a proper performance wheel uh, the v12 was a little bit of an, uh, a fiasco if you ask me it had performance but it had a lot of cutout out cutout issues And that way uh, the V13 was a little bit over engineered and very expensive with uh, a very heavy and with a very short range and uh, 
technology has trickled down to the V13 Adventure. A more basic wheel because it doesn't have a touch screen. It's a very robust, very compact, uh, better suspension. And what, uh, what will they uh, release uh, the next time? The V14 hasn't been uh, out yet, so I think uh, maybe beginning of 2024 uh, they will release. Uh, uh, they will uh, show or uh, show a, a new model. They already have uh, uh, showed uh, the new version of the V11. I'm not interested in the new V11. Looks like uh, a very fun uh, wheel for the uh, average person. Not too much flash like the S uh, Kingsong S16 or the S19. Very low key wheel but uh, with enough performance and range for a lot of people. V uh, still a very nice design. Expansion not very uh, uh, very good if you ask me, very basic but uh, very difficult to uh, fill up uh, the two chambers of the shocks, which are not uh, very uh, user friendly. With uh, emotion, they uh, they support uh, the wheels for very very long time. Uh, Kingsong also. With uh, we go, it seems uh, they released a new wheel every every month or every uh, every two months, and uh, they will sell uh, sell all the parts which are left over leftover parts because I think. Uh, they will uh, try to make as many uh, we uh, wheels as possible. If they have uh, leftover parts, they will use it for another wheel. If they cannot use it, they will sell it as parts. Uh, but uh, uh, eventually, uh, yeah, there are no parts to buy, I think. The same problem with the Abrams. The Abrams was isn't a very popular wheel, so not a lot, uh, lots of parts have been uh, manufactured. So it's very difficult to get a motherboard for the Abrams. You can still uh, buy the shells, the frame, pedals, but uh, the electronics it, it's it's very difficult. Uh, and the same for the, the X-Men. It's it's uh, it's a big goat wheel, so maybe it can use uh, big goat uh, uh, motherboard. But still, uh, the parts are very difficult uh, to get. In general, uh, for EUC parts are aren't that easy to get, especially from uh, older wheels. Uh, some uh, distributors. Distributors are still selling uh, the MSX or the, the Monster V2. Uh, very old wheels and uh, no components are sold anymore for those wheels. So uh, even buying at uh, buying second hand, if it breaks, it's it's uh, it's over. Maybe you can sell uh, the parts, but I think don't think so. If you you can get a donor wheel. That's that's the problem with uh, buying old wheels. Uh, parts aren't sold anymore, or are very are very expensive. has uh, the monster v3 I think it was uh, it was second hand from another friend 
but that monster three uh, it's a frankenstein wheel it has a all the parts have been uh, replaced uh, it has a new border board motherboard control board it, uh, with the tuning the sport uh, tuning the mss tuning i think but it's uh you you must ride it very gently because if it's broken it's it's very difficult to fix it This is almost the end of the video. Uh, you have seen this track before in my, in my other video, but this is a bit, little bit different. was getting dark uh, very soon so we weren't uh, hanging uh, we weren't uh, what, strolling around goofing off we were uh, going straight to the end uh, only a few times we took a break of course The first time I've been here, I've not, I've only crossed this track with the Sherman. Uh, I was trying to find the track, but the Sherman, I didn't, didn't feel comfortable uh, r riding with the Sherman. Pedals were very low. I didn't have the feeling I could keep up with uh, mountain bikers. And here I am uh, speeding on the veteran pattern, a crazy uh, little wheel. I like uh, the, the, the current uh, performance wheels, are very compact. The bigger the, the you see is, uh, the more it's like uh, riding a motorcycle. The only thing uh, I'm missing is the, the, the steering wheel, the steering, the handlebar, especially on the Abrams, it, uh, it's still, uh, of course, uh, you see in general it's very small, but uh, on, a, on a compactor, a more compact wheel, it's, it's, it looks it still looks crazy uh, going that fast. Such a small device between your legs. Speeding uphill. Overtaking uh, cyclists, mountain bikers. I think it's a bit of a shame. Uh, only two guys are constant, uh, consistently uh, filming. That's Ralph and uh, I. Uh, but uh, Ralph is faster, and he's uh, in front. So I'm not uh, on a lot, not uh, on a lot of uh, his videos. 
and uh, yeah, then other friends don't uh, film that much, only or uh, sporadically. So it's a bit of a shame. Uh, the the cameraman doesn't get uh, any screen time. Screen time. Oh well. Maybe the next ride. <laughs> 